Right, just a quick update on the maze that we're doing down at uh, Hallswithy. This is um, a comparison between the twin row and the conventional maze system. The conventional maze, here yeah, you can see we're looking at, it's all drilled in a single line, single row. This has been drilled with an Amazon. It's uh, very accurate, very even. It's almost like machine gun bullets. It's uh, very little in the way of skips or bunching. It's all fairly even. This was drilled at 42,000 seeds. And as you can see, yeah, we've got a nice, very even, very uniform crop, which is exactly what we are aiming for. This year I've seen probably more in the way of bunching, of gappy, gappy type crops um, than I can remember, really. I don't know if it's because the seed or because some of the old these maize drills are getting a bit old, but this year we've seen some really gappy crops. So this is conventional maize here. This is uh, Ambition on the outside, it drilled at 42,000. So now if you compare this with twin row maize, twin row, basically you take the single row uh, which we've got here and we split that row into two so that you basically double the distance in the configuration of the plant. As we can see here, you've got a perfect diamond between the between the plants so if we look here you can see you've got a plant here plant there plant here plant there plant here plant over there it's in a diamond you've got a good 10 inches between each plant in row and you've got probably seven inches here and this is planted at 50,000 seeds per acre okay so this is 50,000 here 42,000 there. So immediately, you know, you've got a lot more rooting area, a huge amount more sunlight capturing capacity because obviously there's not so much competition between the plants. Um, you know, the rooting area is, is that much better because obviously the plants, there's not so much in row competition between the plants for, for nutrients and nutrition. And if we look, you know, we know that um, uh, uh, Activate, which is this variety here, is not, the, is not the tallest variety under the sun, but it's the same height as we've got here with this, this conventional. Uh, and we know that when we did this, we, we probably gave it 30 kilos of DAP down the spout rather than the full 50. But that was just the nature of the beast. We couldn't get any more DAP out of the drill at the time uh, because the drill that we used from Twin... Uh, Great Plains had a modified system to deliver the DAP, um, uh, which, you know, obviously it was a bit of Heath Robinson. It's not the best way of doing it, but it worked. Um, and obviously they're going to uh, improve that with all the drills coming into the UK in future. But that gives the classic stagger. As you can see here, we've got the classic stagger with the twin row. Um, and at the end of the day, these will all be taken to, to, to yield, so we'll see exactly what we're getting in terms of dry matter and starch. The idea is basically this system improves your dry matter yield and increases your starch yield because basically you have more plants per square meter and you have more sunlight. The plants are able to photosynthesize better. There's less nutrient co competition, um, so you get more even crop. And again, if you look at this here, you can see most of these plants are all virtually identical in size, in development, and with the best will in the world, even with um, you know, a good planter like the Amazon, you've still got um, some plants here which are slightly shorter. Yeah, that plant there is obviously quite short. You know, there's a bit of in-row competition here for light and everything else. You know, the plant is not quite so regular and even. If you come back, you can see it you know, these plants in here, they're quite short. Then you've got taller plants here. Another big tall plant and a short plant, a short plant. So there's still quite a bit of unevenness between the plants in row. And um, basically the twin row system is aimed at trying to alleviate that issue. So as I say, more updates when, uh, as the crop gets bigger, more advanced. And we've got actually something to show you in the form of cobs. Uh, my expectation is the cobs will be quite regular, um, quite large, 
definitely better in, uh, in terms of starch production than we see in the conventional system. But uh, more to follow later.